Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> there you go. Another footman. Do we want this happening? When did this happen? Well, we have an extra person now, too. More work. Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon. Stoneheart episode number four. Let's get the game going on over here. So, what I did between this episode and the last one, mind you, this is all in one single recording. So, if you have been yelling at me for the first three episodes telling me, Falcon, you're supposed to be doing it this way, that way, blah, 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 blah. Realize I really haven't had time to look at your comments and adapt to them because obviously it hasn't even happened yet for me. I'm in the past right now. You're in the future. Actually, you're probably in the present time as you're listening to this. But... Your advice is coming in the future, and I'm in the past, and I'm just confusing myself now. But either way, I did go into the wiki, which is honestly, for the, the wiki for um, Stoneheart is actually kind of really light. There's absolutely next to no information on that, so hopefully somebody takes the time to fill it in, not me. I mean, <laughs> you don't want Falcon filling any sort of wiki up whatsoever. A traveler approaches your town. What's going on here, my man? I'd like to join your town. Yes, yes, do it. Alrighty, we had an extra person. Is he a footman, too? I think he's a footman, dog. Maybe we'll have actually some people patrolling properly now. Either way, we'll talk to this guy really soon. And, actually, I need some weaving to happen. And I will tell you why soon enough. What is this? Five tools of dreads happening? Yeah, yeah. Sure, I guess. Yeah, keep working on that. Actually, we do need that because I want to make some equipment. Is what I wanted to do. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I looked into the information... And apparently there is no way to singly control your people manually, so that is a problem. It pisses me off because I would like to get them to kind of do something else sometimes, but they're kind of like mob mentality right now. There is plans to make it so you could kind of designate zones to move people elsewhere when you need to, but that's not implemented as of right now. So um, I can't commandeer people to go somewhere at a whim's notice. So that's kind of a little bit of an issue, but again, early alpha game, you guys understand, I would imagine. But that is in the works, so... That, and also, you're stuck. My carpenter cannot work because she's literally stuck in there. I contemplated changing her back into a regular worker, and seeing if she would just start working on this as opposed to being stuck in there, but I'm scared that doing so might turn her back into a level 0 ca uh, carpenter if I turn her back again, so I don't really want to rock the boat. She's starving in there, I, I realize that. But there's really not much I can do because I don't necessarily want to fuck with the game. It's really finicky, you know? You gotta treat this game pretty well, otherwise you just it's gonna just break down and you'll be like, yeah, you don't wanna play my way? Fine. I'm just gonna, I guess, bug out and glitch out and crash. So, I don't necessarily wanna make the game angry. Essentially, I am the game's bitch right now, so, you know, <laughs> I gotta treat it really well. So, um, yeah, we have to wait for that house to be built to get my carpenter out of there. You know, it is what it is. Now, um, let me look at my information. Ooh, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. Get those traps, dog. Now you you chopped that down. Oh, by the way, where's that critter, that goblin dude? He's still probably stealing our shit, isn't he? He's right here. Okay. Now, the way to combat this is, I did designate some areas to be harvested, right? So if I was to do this, for instance, my people would come down here to harvest that area. And then when they're down here, then I could go into red alert, and they'll go and fight that goblin. So this is a way to kind of, in a sense, deal with that, although, you know, or I could even do, like, a trapping zone over here, which is, there's actually some animals over here, too, so that wouldn't be the worst idea imaginable. You know what? Let's do that right now. Let's do a trapping zone down over here, because there's a few critters here anyway, so we might as well take advantage of that area. Alrighty. Now, Goblin is right here. Any people around? People around? Yes. Red alert. Nope, don't run away from him. Fight him. Fight the Goblin. There you go. Heh <laughs> you piece of shit. Yeah, get him down. Bring his ass down. You've been stealing us for him long enough. Everybody, back to work. Thank you very much. So, that was one way to combat it. Just wait till they're near you and then go into red alert. I know it's not the most ideal way to deal with it. I'm aware of that. Believe me, I'm playing the game. I'm, it's annoying the hell out of me, but... You know, you kind of have to work what the game has to offer you at the moment. Now then, Carpenter should be, you know, let out of prison really soon. Are there prisons in this game? Well, apparently there are now. And there is a footman over here walking around. Which one are you? You're Willad. Who is the other dude that joined? Norsa. And let's see here. Norsa is where? I know that if you double click, it should send you to him. There you go. Norsa. Oh, there you go. All right, cool. So we have two footmen. Do I want to turn one of these into a regular worker? I kind of almost want to just because it'll get jobs done faster. And honestly, the patrolling for me doesn't really work that well anyway. So let's see. Willad. How are your stats, dog? I don't think you're that good of a 
a fighter if I'm right. No, actually, you're pretty decent. Alright, what about the new lady? Norsa. Not really that great. Okay, let's turn you into a regular worker. Alright, so no more, no more of that shit for you. You come and give me a hand around the base because we need to get some of these stuff built and get our carpenter out of prison soon. This is going to be the amazing bra- oh shit. Okay. Just one dude? Is it just one dude? If it's one dude, I can deal with one dude. I don't care if he's armored or not. Is there anybody around here? To kind of deal with it? Not really, no. Not right now. Okay, so for now, he's um, free to take that. I can't stop him. <laughs> he's, you know, willy-nilly, freely going on over here. I'm not trying to rhyme, by the way, too. Willy-nilly, freely. But um, he is free to roam and steal as he pleases. But once he's back over here, hopefully then we'll be able to do something. Let me designate this as a spot to break shit down. And then hopefully we'll get some people down here. What I could do as well is actually designate this to... Where, where's your little home setup, by the way? You fucking asshole. I'll just have my people go over there and attack you that way. House is almost built. Yeah, get that out of there so my carpenter get out of there. And Willem and Des actually turn into a level 1 footman. By doing what? I have no idea. Just wandering around, maybe? Did he actually go over there and fight somebody? I would be quite amazed if he did. I wouldn't pay, uh, place any money on it, though. Hmm. Where's that goblin at? Did we really kill him? I would be quite surprised if that's what happened. Let me see here. Willem, where are you at? Or Willot, I should say. Yo, dog. Oh, well, I double-clicked on him, and he's all the way over here. Maybe he did. Maybe he did go kill somebody, after all. And if he did, then hey, you know, he actually... Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Goblin is still around. So I'm not sure why he leveled up and why he's that far off, but there you go. That is some crazy fire you have going on over here, my man. You know, set this whole tree on fire. Apparently so. Any workers nearby so we could red alert this guy right now? Not really. Our trapper hasn't come and done his thing over here, too. There's a lot of animals here, though, so that should work out for us pretty well. Oh, here's my trapper. Just turned something into jerky? I'm not sure what you're doing over here. What about you? Scarlet Gorwin? Scarlet Johansson? Love of my life? Not really. I mean, she's a hot chick, obviously, but I don't know. I just don't really... You know how, like, a lot of people fawn over, like, you know, Hollywood actresses and stuff? I really don't have, like, you know, when people are like, you know, who do you think is, like, who's the hottest ho Hollywood actress? And I'm just kind of like... I always have a hard time thinking about it because I never really think about him as a notion that I have a chance with whatsoever because it's kind of like, you know, I obviously don't have a chance with. Why even think about it? It's going to depress me even more. Hold myself in sleep and as I cry myself to sleep, essentially. Um, yeah, this guy's doing his thing over here. Rah, <laughs> knocking down stones together, causing a flint over there. Alrighty, are we, is my carpenter out of there now, finally? She is, okay. So... Let's place down a bed, because, actually, the bed is already there. Somebody just to come over here and place it. Alrighty. So, since we have that, let's go and get, um, windows? Do we need windows, or do we have extra windows here? Do we have windows? Let me go into my item menu here. Inventory, windows, it does seem like we do not have any. Okay. So, now that my carpenter is free, oh, she's over here already working. Are you making comfy beds? You are making comfy beds. Alrighty. Good. But after you're done with the comfy beds, I need some windows, actually. So let's go into... Uh, bu -bu -bu. We need at least four for that one house, right? And we might as well give you eight for the next house that I'm going to build next. So get that up and running. Is my weaver done? She is. Now, I want to make some armor, I did say, which we need the bolt of cloths for. How much weave... Or silk do we have, the silk weave? 34, apparently. So we have enough to actually make a few more. So let's go over here and make, uh... I don't know, we have quite a bit of it. So you know what? Let's just break it down into, like, 20 for now. If it's extra, then it's extra. I don't really care. It's good stuff nonetheless. All right, we have a worker here. So if we can run into that goblin... Oh, goblin's right there. He's coming at us. Perfect. So this worker over here should, by all means, come over here and attack this guy. As long as we red alert now. There we go. Go after the goblin. Oh, he's running now. He's running because his fire's out. Well, too bad, my friend, because so far, not only is that fire out, your life is about to be extinct too, my friend. That was pretty clever, by the way. I just came up with that myself. 
Alright, so bring him down. Come on. Come on, don't don't block, motherfucker. Alright, this isn't, you know, some sort of, like, you know, hardcore fighting game where you have to block attacks and counter and shit. It's just like a regular, you hit R and it kills you, okay? <laughs> That's as in-depth as the fighting goes in this game. Don't run away from him. Don't give him that satisfaction. Attack him from behind if you have to. Yeah, see the rooster's now crowing too? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, thanks a lot, Footman, by the way. He leveled up to, you know, do absolutely dog shit afterwards. Just one person, huh? <laughs> we had more people over here working in this area. He, they kind of help us out, but that's not the case right now. Come on. Alright, got a heart. At least a quarter of a heart damage now. Now, this guy's apparently armored. So, that's the reason probably why he's taking a bit more extra few hits. Who is this, by the way? This is Norsa Umbro. She's the one who came in as a footman, so you'd imagine she'd have some sort of, like, you know, fighting proficiency already. But it's not really showing. Okay. Well, we're almost there. There we go. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks a lot for that really hard-to-watch fight. And you're over here going to make some more spool threads, which is fine. Oh, we have a second bed in there. Cool. So two houses have now been built. Let's get another house up and running, then. Let's go into our building design. Add a house over here. We want to go with uh, home, if I'm right. Okay. So how are we splitting this down? We're splitting this down by five squares in between. Good to know. So technically, this would be it. One, two, three, four. Nope. This is it. Five. So we'll place you down. And that's it. Get this out of there. Build design. Yep. Now, the windows have still not been placed in. That is because have we made the windows? Because I know we were making the comfy bed, so for all I know, we just haven't made the windows just yet. Yeah, we still have one more comfy bed to go. I wonder if we have the required material for it. You know what? I, we only have one bolt of cloth. I think we need two. So what's happening here is that we do not have... No, I mean one bolt of cloth. That's all we need. Are we missing a mean bed suddenly? Oh, uh, we might be missing a mean bed. So let's make a mean bed then. That might be the problem here. So, yes, craft that. Let's push this up in the queue over here. And that should get it up and running. Now, mind you, the other thing I wanted to discuss is the fact that... This bed over here? <laughs> Again, this I'm not sure what this... Wait a minute. Well, we deployed it, right? The bed? Here is the problem. Now... You saw how the mean bed is gone now? If I go over here and go into place... You see this? Well, I'll show you. You can see it right there, right? But if I want to put this over here... Can't do it anymore. So, effectively, if you remove a bed... Um, the... I guess the... The framework for it is still going to remain there, the blueprint. So you're not going to be able to place anything on it. So I've essentially... Have fucked the integrity of the house itself because I can't place this on it. If there's a way to kind of get around this, let me know, but I am pretty sure you can't. So, what I'm going to have to do is kind of, um, a little bit daunty, a little bit dainty, a little bit janky, and that is put the bed next to it over here. So, this guy is going to have a bed over here in the corner, as opposed to down the center, which is how I like it, because of my OCD. But there you go. I can't really control that. And it is what it is. Um, so have we built this now? Oh, well. We have the extra mean bed being built, that's fine. And then we'll have the windows up and running. And how is my weaver coming along? We're still bringing this shit down. Good. Good, good, good. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because I want to get some of the equipment up and running. Because the equipment actually allows your workers to work like 10% faster, if I'm right. Which is obviously not that big of a boost, but, it, you know, it's something. Where is my weaver at? Out of curiosity. Weaver, weaver, weaver. Weave. We 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 Now here's the problem. I moved all the stuff over here, so now my constructor and weaver have to travel further to make their stuff, and now my you know constructors over here don't have to go that far to make the houses, so you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. So I'm not even sure, do we make like a stockpile somewhere in the middle now? I guess you probably would. Ugh. Not one thing, it's the other. Because I don't think you could edit what's going to be in here, right? Like, if I go in here, for instance, can I edit this? Look, man, I just want to edit. Resources. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So, we can edit it. Perfect. So, we... Well... Let's remove plants from here. 
The constructor is still going to have to walk a little bit further out, but I guess it'll work. Because I want resources, but I just want these, right? So the plants will get moved out of here and hopefully brought bring back to the other area. And this will just be for wood. I mean, the unfortunately, the carpenter is still going to have to do a little bit of traveling. Let's swap this out too and make this for plants then. So plants can be brought over here. Essentially, I should be moving this a little bit further down since the housing is over here now. So that would kind of, you know, make things a lot easier for us. Maybe that's what I should do, huh? Instead of just talking about it, let's actually do it. Carpenter level 3, nice. Let's see. So what do we got to do with zones here and do... Look, I just want to edit this shit, man. Let's remove this stock zone in general now. And we'll just move it down centered here. So we'll do something like... Uh down towards here and sure make it for just resources so make this as none and then we'll go into resources and that's it okay so now our people are gonna have to haul stuff over here but then this will be kind of in the center between our building quote-unquote area and our housing area so maybe it'll kind of you know make it a little bit easier for us here this area is almost completely packed up by the way we have a bunch of the spindles just not enough of the well, we're going to turn those into clots anyway. She's still turning them into clots, as a matter of fact. Okay. Now, what's happening down over here? You are my trapper. So you're doing a good job, because you're bringing a bunch of food in all the time. Our food isn't even an issue. Food is at 9.3. Overall happiness is 6.3, and our shelter is 4.1 now. Do we have... Yeah, we have a bed here and a bed here. Now, we just need to get this up and running. Did we not set this down correctly, or... Am I mistaken here? Is that because you guys are moving stuff from one area to the other? Because I want this to be built. You know, just uh, just an FYI for you. Oh, you guys are still putting in the windows. Is that what's happening here? I see. Well, we got a level 3 Weaver now. As a matter of fact, we have two level ups if I'm right. Trader wrote back in 20 hours. Uh, you joined. Level 1 Footman, 20% damage up. Good. You know, too bad I can't ever use you in battle. Traveler approaches your town. That already happened. Did we accept this? I... Excuse me? Oh! Okay. Well, there you go. Another footman. Do we want this happening? When did this happen? Well, we have an extra person now, too. More work. Um, 3, 3, and 6. Not too bad, honestly. Um, do I want to turn you into a footman, though? They rarely ever work out for me properly. I'm going to make, I mean, you're not bad. You have some pretty decent stats, I would guess. But you know what? I want to get an extra worker in here to get some of this jobs done faster. So let's turn you back into a regular worker. Although you're actually patrolling as opposed to Willad, who just keeps fucking circling the farm all the time. You know what? You're actually moving around here, which isn't too bad. Alrighty, dude. I'm going to leave you as a footman for a while. I'm going to trust you to actually fight enemies, so... That's cool. I'll leave you there for now. More alerts. We have level 3. Who is this carpenter? When inspiration strikes, the carpenter may embellish his work in unexpected ways. Okay. That's cool, I guess. And then we have... Person who joined. You turn into level 3, which is artistic inspiration as well for weavers. Fine. And then we have level 3 for our trapper. Efficient cuts. Long practice helps the trapper salvage more from each animal. Nice. Alrighty. Good shit. Good level ups. Alright, and my footmen, I'm going to keep an eye on these motherfuckers, I never trust them. Footmen over here, and then footmen over here. Alrighty. If you guys start slacking off, I'm telling you, Tess, you're the new footman, you are going to be turned into a worker, so you better do a good job for me. Do what Willard could not do for us. Now, you're over here sleeping. That's already set up. Um, we are going to get um, this house built soon, right guys? That would be fucking amazing if you started working on it at some point or another. Let's make... Take a look at this one more time. Right. Let me set this up as start building again. Last time that's how it worked. I did start building and then they, they were like, Oh, there was a job here to... Yep, there they go. Nope. Oh, Garbins, goblins, goblins, goblins. Not goblins, but goblins. Well, now they're working on that, which is fine. Occasionally you have to kind of just go back there and do build it again just so they are like, Oh, right. I was working. Bountiful harvest. The farmer coaxes... Uh, Coaxes greater yield from each plant. Or coaxes. Coaxes greater yield from each plant. I know how to read. 
Armored Goblins. That's going to be four of these bad boys, if I'm right. That is four of them. Any nearby workers is the real question. It doesn't seem like it. So we are going to deal with the goblins, the goblin issue here next episode, I would say. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. The support does mean a lot. Leave your comments as well. Know something that I don't? Let me know. The support always does mean a lot. Other than that, I will catch you next time.